Okay, I realize I've done this video before, but because we were able to bring in 20 enemies as opposed to just 8 now, uh, we're going to be doing it again. Except now we have more enemies, which means we have a little bit more fun. Using the Ferox to replace Mag or Korra in the previous video, we are able to bring in more enemies. And then, 3, 2, 1, awesome. The reason why I'm going for radiation damage uh, on my Ferox for radiation procs is so that they don't run away. And it also means <laughs> it also means that when I use Naramon, uh, because I am actually using Naramon, it opens them up for finishes, which gives us a better idea of the kind of damage that we are doing. Uh, so as you can see, it's pretty damn strong. Now you don't necessarily have to use finishes in this particular regard, but I would probably recommend that you do. Final four. So as you can see, even a full combo with Ragnarok, the Jack Attack, is just as absurdly strong. So to just uh, reprise ourselves of the builds, this is the build, that's Constitution, Arc and Energize and Guardian, awesome! This is Ragnarok, uh, also known as um, Jack Attack, that's Vulcan Edge for the gas damage, awesome, yeah! Really, really strong. Really, really cool. Let's just do that one more time because it's absolutely hilarious. Keep in mind that when you throw the Ferox, you are now immediately under a timer. So you've got to get that done as quickly as possible, but not too quick again that you end up spawning enemies over there because that is just going to be a massive waste of time unless you're Mag. Because Mag can just jump over and pull those enemies away. Oh, that's a problem. I just picked up the Ferox. We don't want to pick up the Ferox. <laughs> Alright, so let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Otherwise, if you liked this video and enjoyed it as much as I did, like, doing that, uh then hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.